Hello, my name's Larry Bennett. I'm from Murray Oma Gang in Cooperstown, New York. We make this. And we've been um, advocates for resisting fracking for almost two years now. Murray Oma Gang makes Belgian style beers. They're not trying to pitch us. We sell them in New York. We sell them in 45 states. We export to four states. We are, <clears throat> you know, models for what New York can do in light industry, make things and sell them elsewhere at a good profit, create jobs in New York State, and we feel like we are a model for what can happen in upstate. Hydrofracking is going to be damaging to the economy, it's going to be damaging to the environment, and from our particular concerns, it's going to be damaging to the water. And we make beer, even a beer like this, that's 8% alcohol, is 92% water. All that water comes out of our ground, fresh, pure water, and if anything happens to it, we're out of business. That's 100 people and $50 million a year. It's gone from our county. So we're deeply concerned about it, as are other breweries and wineries and cider mills around the state. As a matter of fact, um, New York State Brewers Association, which comprises about 85 breweries, has endorsed our efforts. So they are behind us in calling for a ban in the state. So that's our position, plain and simple. We're trying to lead a business coalition to go along with all the environmental groups. And um, we just think that it's critical. You know, there's ways that New York State, especially upstate, can grow, can prosper. But hydrofracking and <clears throat> trying to bring up more, you know, more um, fossil fuels is just not the solution to it. So, but we do have other positions. We're positive about solar. We're positive about other kinds of alternative fuels. So we're not trying to just be, don't do it here. We're trying to say there's a bigger picture. So if I had an opportunity to speak with Cuomo, which I would say I'm part of a group of about a dozen people in Cooperstown who've been trying to get this opportunity for almost two months, I would tell him exactly the same thing, that he needs to stop it, period. Just talking about what, what a brewery is about. We make beer, we make beer out of water. Um, our water in upstate New York, in Cooperstown, in the village of Middlefield, which is being sued by the gas companies, our water comes out of the ground. It comes out of the aquifers beneath us. We use well over a million gallons a year. We're growing by 25% a year. That number will double in three and a half years. And anything that happens to that water, where other people drill into it, has huge potential effects on us. And the brewery is currently surrounded by leases, and one of the farmers is suing our township for the right to drill, and she's about three miles from the brewery. If she drills, then we all face the consequences of it. Maybe there won't be an accident, maybe not. But if there is, our choices are shut down, build a $10 million filtration plant, which probably still won't take the hydrocarbons out of it, or move. And those, those would be our choices. It's not like we can make beer out of polluted water. It's pretty interesting dealing with, uh, talking about Governor Cuomo because he's recently signed bills which actually ease taxes on small breweries in New York State which has been great. It's been lobbied for heavily by the New York State Brewers Association, and that's a great thing. But on the other hand, if <clears throat> these big energy companies come in, the potential for destruction of what we all make is huge. So, you know, it's how does he balance these two things? Giving us a tax break is one thing, but putting our water at risk is a whole different animal. And we think that putting the water at risk is, is an incredibly important and needs to not do it. So let me, let me just say a little something about travel and tourism in Upstate. As, as, as people probably know, um, tourism is a huge industry in Upstate, and it's not just seasonal. It's summer, it's fall, it's winter. Um, Cooperstown, where our brewery is, is um, gets 400,000 people a year. The brewery gets about 50,000. Now, those 50,000 primarily come from beer, but we peel some people off from Baseball Hall of Fame. Um, the thing about it is, travel and tourism is huge. We sell our beers because we use pure clean water, we use natural ingredients, we're not organic, but we use no chemicals. And you know, one of our concerns is that people have to drive by um, gas drilling rigs and huge trucks filled with um, you know, toxic waste. How easy is it to believe that you're getting this pretty pure and pristine product from upstate? And that's not just true for us, that's true for us, it's true for the beef producers, and it's true for the organic milk producers, it's true for the organic farmers, all of these things. So that's another aspect of this where if it affects travel and tourism and that's food related, it can truly affect the entire economy of upstate.